Millions of Scandal fans screamed at last week's show after the shocking episode that left us dying to see what happens next. Now, Guillermo Diaz stars as the mysterious former CIA agent who is very clear about the rules of engagement. Take a look. If I kill Hollis Doyle for you, you can't come back here. You can't work for Pope and Associates anymore. You can't be a gladiator. Why not? Because you want Hollis dead for revenge. And we don't do revenge, we solve problems. So you can be Lindsay Dwyer and get revenge on Hollis, or you can be Quinn Perkins and move on with your life. You can't have your new life and also keep your old life. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was Child, well. please welcome. show on TV right now, and you play Huck, probably Huck. one of the most complicated characters on the show, but we know very, very, very little about him. <laughs> Could you, in a very quick way, describe Huck? Yeah, Huck, Huck is a former um, trained killer spy who was recruited by the CIA uh, fresh out of college, and he was in black ops, and while he was there, he had to you know, do some pretty horrific things. He's right. assassinated world leaders. He's um, uh, tortured people for information. Right. He's wrapped people in plastic. And it all kind of um, became too much for him. And he had a bit of a nervous and right. emotional so it's breakdown. A comic it's, right. a com it's a comedy. Wow. I was going to say, what the heck? Scandalioso. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and, uh, and, you know, he becomes homeless on the streets of Washington, right. D.C. And that's where Olivia Pope, Kerry Washington's right. character, kind of takes him right. under her wing Saves and, him. yeah, basically yeah. dusts him off and says, you're going to come work with me yeah. when you're ready. And now he's working for Olivia Pope. Yes. I wonder yes. what you can tell us now, because we uh, was it ten? I guess it's like where the episode's going to pick up this week. The last right. we knew, the president was it was revealed that he had murdered a Supreme Court justice yeah. in order to protect yeah. his legacy. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us? Because there's been a big. Um, well, for Huck, time. in, in the, the upcoming episodes, you're going to see kind of the effects of the of the the advanced interrogation techniques that they right. did on him, the waterboarding, and yeah. and you're going to kind of see how that's affecting him, even though he's he's you know he's not really wanting to deal with it. But um, yeah, it's it's it, it gets even crazier and crazier. And the funny thing is, the cast, like we're all so into the show, just as much as you guys. Like we watch it. I we love to live tweet with the fans, we but really do. Yeah, yeah. it's. I mean, literally, you're, the tweet. I, mean, I love you, Huck. Huck's Thank like, I'll so kill much. him for you. I mean, it's just like <laughs> what? You can't kill people. Okay. But I mean, literally, the, people go crazy on Twitter, and you get two thousand tweets a minute. What does it feel like to be a part of something so phenomenal? It feels great. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. I think our, our presence on Twitter has really, you know, been a huge reason why yeah. the show has been so successful. Absolutely. And our fans, our Twitter fans, and our fans all over the place are just so, so there. I want to ask you, because I love, you know, how actors become actors, but you're from Washington Heights. I am. You I grew up, up in the city, yeah. 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 Um, I'm like, yeah. woo, Upper East Side, what? Um, <laughs> Washington Heights, but you were kind of grew up around drug dealers. I mean, it was pretty I, hardcore. Yeah, I grew up in the 80s. You know, there was there were drug dealers on every corner, and I went to high school in the Bronx, and it wasn't really such a you know great high school. Um, I got mugged inside my high school once. Oh my god. Yeah. In the school. And I'm really sorry, man. Yeah. I, didn't, I always wanted to apologize to you. Where's my chain at? You call yourself a big nerd. I am. So, yeah. so explain yourself. Um, like right now, I just feel like a doof, you know. I'm no. just a big nerd, man. That's. I think that's. I became a, a, an actor. I, I I did a talent show in high school, and I played one of the Beastie Boys, and we did a medley of songs, and I was right. Mike D. Is that yeah. when you were mocked? No. Around that time, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, once I was on stage, I saw how people reacted to me and thought I was. Uh, you know, they were like, "You were great," and I felt like I was at home and. And, you know, so here I am. Love you so you have to come you back. You have to come back because we, we have to talk. Maybe you'll do Guy Day Friday with us. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Our yeah. thanks to Guillermo Diaz, Canada, last Thursday night at 10 p.m. on ABC. And we will be right back.